Go. Hi, I'm Richard Klein. Um, I'm Sheila Wang. I'm Victor Faye. And we're here to uh, talk about our ECE 5760 final project, a uh, FPGA command line interface and file system. Okay, and this goes to a processor which is running on the FPGA. Yeah, it's uh, running Pancake, which is a uh, stack machine. A stack machine. It's a stack machine, and and show me what you got hooked up here. So, in short, our project basically uh, reinvented the personal computer. Uh, here is the FPGA board where we um, had the processor on. And this is the keyboard which, from which we enter the command, and this is the screen displays. Okay, and we um, have a we have a PS2 connection right, right. here, and then the VGA is being driven off the FPGA. Right. So it's standalone, no no connection right now to the right. PC. Okay. And so far, our um, project implements um, basic array operations such as uh, sorting, uh, reverse, <coughs> finding max, min, yeah. and also and a calculator. Uh, and also a file system, which we are able to read the file, load the file, then perform those array operations on. Okay, and that's off the SD card, which is right here. Right, correct. Okay, so we implement a basic file system. Okay, well show me the okay. calculator. All right, okay, so first of all, let me clear the screen. And uh, calculator, let's say, 2 to the power of uh, 14. Then let's show a multiply operation. 66 and uh, division. So this does integer division and mod operation. And the 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 architecture as as given to you had no divide in it, right? You had uh, the right divide. No, no divide, no mod, no power. It's only add, subtract, and multiply. Mm -hmm. So part of the project is, is extension to the Pancake programming language. Uh, when we started writing the file, it was basically a blank file. We had to add all the, all the functions to it. So later on, students who want to use the Pancake processor will be able uh, to like reuse our functions that are built in libraries. Okay. And why don't we show you the file system, which is the, probably the coolest part. Um, so let's say, do you want to? Oh, would you sure. like to? Oh, sorry. Okay, so uh, we're running the file system off of an SD card, which um, has a, the SD controller is all written in Verilog. Um, so so all Verilog. Yeah. No C, no NIOS. No NIOS. Um, well, we actually found it online, but we're using it. So. Okay. <laughs> um, so you can LS and then show the files that are currently on the SD card. Um, I can show the contents of one of the files. So file P has potato in it. I can make a file. Um, and then I can show the new file again. And then if I ls again, um, file D shows up here. Um, lastly, I can remove a file. So if I remove file F and then ls again, um, F is now gone. Cool. And more importantly, we can also load this, load this data into memory, and we'll perform like some array operations, say on. Um, so a string array operation. Right, string array option. So operation. So cat D, we see it's EC5760. Then let's copy it into memory. Then we can sort. Then we can reverse the array. Then we can find max. Max is ASCII, so you'll be able to like. Mm -hmm both string and numbers would work perfectly, clear screen. And so some of the built-in functions such as like max, min, sort, will also work by picking in different uh, parameters, say that max will be mm -hmm. six, and let's say sort, uh, then that would give you um, a sorted version of the input. So, with the addition of being able to load, a, a, a being able to do an arbitrary option on a string, or operate set of operations on a string coming off of the SD card, then you have programmable language. Except you don't have branching yet. Right. Yeah. But that's the only thing that's missing, right? Um, I think for future improvements, we can definitely uh, add the ability for it to be. 
uh, programmable, standalone programmable, that will mm -hmm. then will truly be a personal computer. But so far, the problem we run into is uh, there's not enough uh, memory on the processor to support our uh, say operating system. So we have a round of memory. Right, month. because when I wrote that, I, I limited it to 4,096 words, and that's yeah. probably just not quite enough. Yeah, okay. Very cool. Thank you.